Hello everybody, this is Jennifer McCray, the Big String. How y'all doing today? This is a fine sunny day here uh, in Louisiana where I am. And uh, today I'm going to talk about something that people vaguely understand, and but a lot of people are uh, aware of. And uh, once you and and it, and it, it, I want to help certain people because I'm in this position and I don't want anyone else to go through this position and I want to them to uh, realize or uh, become aware when they're victims of this uh, type of personality. Uh, it's a type of personality disorder called covert narcissist. Um, Excuse me, y'all. I have the most beautiful hands in the world. But okay, it's called How to Cope with a Covert Narcissist Boss or Landlord. In my case, it's Landlord. Okay, so basically, most people, when they think of narcissism, they think of people like President Trump. Who are loud, aggressive, uh, make bold lies, make bold statements, fire people at whim, impulsive, loud, uh, self-centered, uh, like to be the center of attention. Uh, that's what they, that's what they think of when they think of narcissists. But there's the other side of narcissism that little pe that a uh, few people know about, and it's called covert, and that means under uh, covert narcissism. We're going to talk about that, and uh, while I'm focusing, I'm going to look at this. Uh, <laughs> I hate to say this, but um. My worst, I've, I've had narcissists uh, in my life, but it, the covert ones seem to be black females. And I'm still trying to understand the reason why I have come across the most covert narcissists being black females with um, little education, uh, and they placed in authority figure positions, managers, and this and that. And they have, you know, no, not even a, 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 a associate degree sometimes. And they don't know their job descriptions, but they are placed there because there are people who are already there who uh, use nepotism to get them there. They don't get there through their skills. They get there through the nepotism of whoever's at that particular company uh, swindle the big boss to hire. And uh, I've, I've, I've seen this so much in, 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 in female black narcissists tell it's, it's really shameful and um, and, and the whites have part, the whites that dominate or that's over or own whatever, uh, they have a tendency to put these people in um, over uh, black populations of people. You know, like for instance, this is a complex and it's 80% African American or black. So they'll put these little trained black women uh, who are extremely covert narcissistic over the people who are men, who have, uh, who are elderly and who have, uh, disabilities, mental and physical disabilities. And these women are not trained in psychology or anything. All they are trained in is being in control, wanting the people to kiss their ass and, um, I uh I would like to uh talk to some white people and tell them not stop hiring these people, 
Cause this woman is in trouble already. She 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 messing me. I'm an empath, and I can see through it. And I go on about the empath later on. Okay, now, what is a covert narcissist? Basically, that's a, just a bully. It's an adult bully in the adult world who possesses grandiose uh, fantasies and thoughts a perception of entitlement and believe that they are better than others. Okay, little education, little uh, training, but they shit don't stink. They just got the title. Just having the title, not having the qualification, the full qualifications, just having the title, you should kiss their ass and worship them. Uh, they crave attention and overall lack of empathy. They don't know what empathy, remorse. They don't give a damn. If if it don't if it don't affect them, they don't give a damn. And a secret gratification to make their target suffer while appearing to be concerned. And I experienced that. And that's in my videos about the landlord discrimination. Uh, they try to make sure that they get strokes for even the most minimal effort. Like this one, she sits in the um, in the office all day. She's either writing infractions, doing inspections. Um, I mean, it's just like she does the most minimal work. And she thinks that we're supposed to kiss her ass for doing the most minimal work. Okay. And uh, writing people up for insignificant things like two nets in the refrigerator and stuff like that. And uh, photographing inside of people's uh, refrigerators and cabinets and stuff. I mean that's 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 nitpicking and that's just it's childish and it it really you they're so ignorant they don't know writing everybody up but their favorites that makes that makes them look bad they don't they don't even perceive that it makes them look bad they just think it makes the tenor look bad but but you over the tenor okay so we're gonna go into um, oh, this is a little saying that I saw while I was on the net doing my research. It says, never underestimate the power, and I'm sorry, underestimate the power of kindness, empathy, which they lack, and understanding and the simple act of listening. They can mean the world to you. I, I said they don't have empathy. They don't give a damn what happened to you. I almost died. I almost, you know, attempted suicide. She did not care. She was not concerned about that, but she was more concerned about getting me another service dog. Okay. So anyway, um, another thing they don't uh, uh, they don't do is what we in uh in psychology and counseling and all that is called active listening. A good manager. Actively listen when a uh, tenant or when an employee comes to them with a problem. No. She will just talk over you, negate you, and uh, you have to have the last word. Then think about what you're going to say next. And that's, that's poor. Just social skills. That's... You know, when you just place people anywhere, it's poor social skills. Okay. Now we're going to talk about... I mean, I'm trying to get this so I can get it all for y'all. The six common trait of narcissists and gaslighters. I'm going to combine those together. Okay. Uh, frequent lies and exaggeration. They are prone to frequent lies and exaggerations about themselves and others, and the tendency of lifting themselves up by putting others down. 
Uh, they like to brag, take undeserved credit. Um, they also like to concentrate on making you feel inferior through false accusations, constant criticisms, which I was subjected to. Nothing was ever right. I had nothing ever. Nothing was ever right. That's wrong. That's you. You know something wrong with a person when they don't find. I mean, you you constantly doing what they're telling you to do is still never right. That's that's called gaslighting. Okay. Uh, and psychological intimidation. They are adept at distorting facts, deliberate falsehoods, character fast character assassinations, which I have done. I had to. Go to the housing uh, hood because of the character assassinations uh, and the negative coercions. And they do this to augment their domination and control. Okay, number three is a false. Let me get this. Number three is a false image projection. Uh, okay, a lot of times the coverts try to make themselves by uh, many narcissists are con convert. Covert narcissists impress others by making themselves look good externally. They call it the Trophy complex. Uh, underlying this uh, message of this uh, display is, I'm better than you. Look how special I am. I'm worthy of everyone's love, attention, and affection. Um, and gaslighter, another gaslighting is uh, creating an idealized self-image of being dominant, suppressive, Alpha female or male in person in 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 uh, whatever uh, sphere be it uh, business or uh, apartments or whatever. Um, many of these gaslighting techniques that they view themselves uh, falsely as all powerful, strong, capable of dishing out. Judgments and penalties, and we and she's excellent. Them her errors is expertise. She needs to go on a job where they do that. Okay, pathological gaslighters they take pride and boost themselves up by marginalizing those who they perceive as weaker, believing them uh to be meek and that they deserve their damn uh trodden fate. They attack their victims with direct and, 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 and contempt, gaining sadistic pleasure from those offenses and betraying a, well, this is y'all, lack of empathy. I always remember narcissistic, narcissism of any kind, lack of empathy going to always be the number one thing. And lies going to be the number two in humanity. Okay. And then we have oh, Lord. Uh, the ru 